Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review and comparison um, with this bag right here, which is my newest bag. And this is the one that I showed in my last video. It is the Loewe Puzzle Bag in the small size and the smooth calfskin leather. And I'm gonna be comparing it and seeing what can fit inside um, with everything that I have in my Speedy right now, as well as my Gucci Soho. Disco, which was my favorite bag, but has been, um, this has taken the reign of my favorite bag now. So without uh, sort of chit-chatting and blabbering on, let's just get on with this video. So I have had the puzzle bag for a month now, and this is the bag I have been using consistently for the whole month, whenever I go out. Um, it's been raining in Vancouver, so I tend to stay away from any of my bags that have sort of canvas or delicate materials on it, just because I know that um, I'm gonna be paranoid using it. And I really don't want any damage happening to the canvas. Um, so yes, I have been using this bag and I've been enjoying it so much. So the pros with this bag, um, if you take a look at it, there's no sort of scuffs or anything on the bag. It's been pretty resilient and hardy. I don't like really baby my bags. I obviously treat them well, but I don't um, really baby them. If I'm going to buy a bag, I'm going to spend a lot of money on a bag. I'm going to use the bag is what I'm trying to say. So there's no scratches. There is like a crease here and kind of a crease there, but I looked on blog spots, or sorry, blog spots, different blog posts, and lots of the puzzle bags have these little dents in certain areas and creases in these areas, and I think that's just the nature of the leather. This leather is very smooth. It does have a little bit of natural graining. This is calfskin, but compared to the Gucci Soho, you can see that, I mean, obviously this one is a lot more textured. Um, and this one is also a lot more smooshy, as you can see. This one's still keeping its shape. It hasn't quite got that sort of classic um, look of the Loewe, the puzzle bag right there when it kind of smushes down. It's still sticking up, but um, I know in time it will go down like that. And I kind of do like it like this as well. Um, I think it, it sort of has like that sort of newer kind of cleaner look, but both ways is nice. Um, one thing I do appreciate about this bag is definitely the pocket in the back here. I think it's just nice to put something if you want to keep it safe um, or if you have a credit card that you know you're using consistently, then you can put it there. Typically what I put in here is if I'm parking somewhere and I get that little ticket, I will put it in here so that's just easy to take the stub out when I need to go pay for my parking. I always know where it is. So that's what I've been keeping in there. Um, nothing else really. This bag is quite roomy for such a small bag. Um, it does have the one pocket. Oh, I do have something in the pocket. I have little McDonald's coffee cards. It has one pocket there and one pocket on the inside, which I like. And I also like that the inside is this sort of canvas material. It's very similar to the Gucci, which is also kind of that beige canvas. It just allows you to sort of see what's in there. I feel like if the canvas was black, while it might help prevent some of the stains or anything like that, it'd be harder to sort of see what's in the bag. So I like the leather of the bag. I feel like it's fairly hardy. I like the back pocket here. I like that the strap is adjustable and that it also does come with this little um, extra piece of leather that essentially holds the, uh, this little part right here, which holds the excess leather strap down. Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, I've been using it for the past four weeks. Um, <laughs> pretty consistently, this is my favorite bag. Uh, this, the Gucci used to be my favorite bag. This is now my favorite bag, I can say. I'm honestly thinking about getting this in another color. Um, what else do I like about it? It's just the roominess. I think it's the roominess and it's a very carefree bag. It's very understated. I feel like I haven't seen another person. I've seen one other person with a puzzle bag, but other than that, that's it. So I feel like it's a sort of under the radar, but people that know bags would be able to recognize it. So that's kind of cool, because I mean, this is just super loud and screams like Louis Vuitton. So I'm gonna compare what I have, um, or I'm gonna compare what sort of fits in each of the bags now. So I have filled up this one here. This is the uh, Speedy Bandelier in the size 25. 
and it's sort of filled to the brim. I wouldn't always take all this stuff with me. Like for example, my swell bottle here. This is uh, 16 ounce. This is like the chubby one. So it's not like the super long one. The long one I don't think would fit in here. But I also do have an organizer in there. I don't know if you can see. This organizer I bought off, um, was it Amazon or eBay? No, Amazon, and it was like $10. If I can find the link, I'll link it below. It seems to do the, like, suit its purpose, which is just organize the inside of the bag. And I didn't want to pay like 50 bucks for one of those expensive organizers. So I also have in there my um, mini pochette and I just carry all like my lip products in here so that's in there and then I have some mints two different packs of mints I have some like little baby wipes I use for my hands I have my wallet which is not a full-size wallet it's like a compact kind of wallet I have my car keys in there as well. I have a hand lotion, which is a fairly small size. It's only about 30 mils. And then I think that's it actually that I keep in my bag that I would use on a regular basis. Um, like I said, I don't typically take this and I don't actually ever keep my phone in my bag. I typically keep my phone in my jacket pocket or my jean pocket or something just so I have like easy access to it. So. That's everything that fit inside this Speedy 25. So let's see if I can sort of transfer it into the Gucci to begin with and then we'll end with my puzzle bag. So I know that my mini pochette will fit in and I know that my wallet and my hand lotion will fit in, mints will fit in, keys will fit in, and this will fit fit my baby wipes will fit but at that point I'm like pretty like full to the max um, I can tell like I can obviously close it the bag is quite heavy at this point this bag in general all these bags when they're not um, filled are so light this puzzle bag is crazy light for being full leather so everything fits in here nicely so which means that everything should technically fit into this bag because if you see the size comparison so I'm going to transfer everything in like this, wallet, mini pochette, car keys, and mints. So everything is now in that bag. So now we're going to see if this water bottle fills in because this water bottle was on top. Um, in my speedy. I don't think I'd ever take this water bottle in a bag just for fear that it would open up and spill but let's check and see so I might need to just organize a couple things um, and it fits <laughs> so essentially everything that fit inside the speedy fits inside the puzzle bag you can kind of see the size like the speedy is obviously like a little bit taller and definitely it's definitely a bit wider than the puzzle bag. You can kind of see, I think like lengthwise or width wise, it's about the same. Um, I, without the organizer in the speed, I could fit more, but the fact that I can sort of like fit everything in the puzzle bag, now whether or not it closes, that's a whole other thing. So let's see if it can actually close. Okay, and it closes pretty easily with the water bottle in there. So that's insane that everything that fits inside the speedy can fit inside the puzzle bag so size comparison you can kind of see there that it's just a little bit taller and obviously um, you can see like I guess that's the depth of the bag or that would be the width of the bag um, the speedy's wider but um, I'm actually surprised because I didn't think it would all fit in to the puzzle bag but it does so um, I know that Stephanie G, I believe that is, she watches my videos and she actually requested to see, um, I guess, comparison between these two bags. So hi, Stephanie. Um, thank you for always watching my videos and always commenting. That's so sweet of you. Um, so yeah, that is sort of a comparison of what fits in. Like I said, the Gucci fits everything but the water bottle. So if you don't typically take a water bottle with you, then this is totally fine. But um, yeah, this is definitely my new favorite bag. I didn't go for any cons of this bag. I really don't think there is any cons yet for me. Um, like I said, this is my new favorite bag and 
I obviously like I love it I've been using it and I want to get it in another color so um, if you've been hesitating about buying this bag or if you've just been mulling it over and thinking it over I would definitely go in store and take a look at it look at it if you can um, I really love it uh, there's some sales right now so I'll link them down below I know essence has this on sale match has had it on sale again as well um, so if you can get some Black Friday deals or Cyber Monday deals or even um, Boxing Day deals on this bag, I would definitely pick it up because I think it's so functional, it's gorgeous, and I think it's also a classic bag that I'll be able to use from years, for years on end. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.